my first time trying Kava experience. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Kava. Now, I have not looked up how legal this is. Uh, it is apparently related to Kratom. Uh, they use them kind of interchangeably. So I just wanna say, do your own research before trying this out. I have no idea if this is supposed to be closer to a drug versus a supplement. I have no idea. This is my first time trying it. So if this is unsafe, I have no idea. If there's any dangers of this, I have no idea. So Kratom is more of the like awakening and I think kava is supposed to be like the roots of kratom and kratom is supposed to be the leaf. So this is essentially like the sedating version of kratom. This increases dopamine and kratom increases norepinephrine and serotonin, which I found was kind of weird because I always felt like kratom had like a dopamine boosting effect, but maybe it is a little bit of that serotonin and the norepinephrine, I don't know. When I first tried this, it's supposed to be like a concentrated shot. And you know, the times that I have tried concentrated kratom, it was just so much stronger than the other kinds. I'm assuming this is gonna be a lot stronger versus if I were to get Kratom powder. Now, the first night, I think I took like two sips. It ended up being like a well above the line. They have like a one ounce line. So I took two sips. It was like, I don't know, maybe like right here. I have a lot of sleep herbs that are very, very, very good. Lemon balm extract chamomile extract, passion flower extract, L-tryptophan, that's not really like a sleep herb, but that's like an amino acid that in my opinion, it really, really relaxes me. So I had tried a lot of this stuff. When I took this, that day I probably would have taken some sleep herbs, but as soon as I got there, I was feeling really good, feeling very, not really drowsy, but just like I really wanted to sleep and I had a great sleep. And this again was a little bit less than half. So I don't think it was the next day, maybe the day after I decided to take the rest all at once. So very, very high dose. And for me, all I got pretty much was this relaxing, pleasant ability to go to sleep. Now you could be saying, oh, well, that's what it's supposed to do. I get you, but I mean, it was just as much as like lemon balm extract to me or like chamomile extract. People don't understand when I'm saying these, like they're they're very, very, very strong. When I take chamomile, when you take passion flower, lemon balm, there's times where I take it and I'm like in something on my phone or playing a game, I'm like, drowsy. I'm like, I got to fall asleep because of lemon balm, chamomile and passion flower. They're so strong. So this isn't really knocking this product. I actually think it was very good. It was very nice. Um, I just don't know if kava is supposed to be necessarily good for you. And so if it's something you're just taking just to get the relaxing effect, like I've got the same amount of relaxing effect from what I remember from the chamomile extract and the lemon balm extract. Now, I do wish I have tried this a little bit more so I can like really cement my findings. You know, maybe if I tried this maybe for 10 nights, maybe I could um, find something special about it. Or maybe this would be like once a week where I just use this and I have this great specific sleep that only this would provide, I don't know. But again, I did feel good and I did feel relaxed. I mean, it was a very, very nice sleep, but from my understanding, Kratom isn't really good for you. So if this is like Kava's like Kratom, it's just something to take to feel good. Like lemon balm is really, really good for you. It has a whole list of benefits. Chamomile, very, very good for you. This has a whole list of benefits on top of being all natural, on top of making you really sedated. And in my opinion, it was just really in the ballpark of this product. And this is not by any means talking badly on this brand at all, but this cherry cheesecake flavor, the taste of kava is so strong. It's just like, well, it's not like Kratom, but it's overpoweringly strong like Kratom is. It was just difficult to drink this. I almost wish it didn't have any flavor because it was just like drinking straight, like concentrated grains or something. It was tough. But again, I'm not talking badly on the taste. I think kava itself tastes just really crazy bad based on what this tastes like because you could taste the herb in the background. So it was very difficult to take down. If I were to try kava, I probably would try more of the powders. Unfortunately, this doesn't make me like really want to buy kava right away, but at the same time, it's something that I really liked. And if I were to like want something to go to sleep and I had this around, I would totally take it. I really did enjoy it. I really wish I had more, more chances with it. But I remember when uh, I first tried Kratom, I was like snowboarding. My buddy gave me three super noticeable effect. I mean, for at least an hour or two, you know, kind of like euphoric, really good energy, all these things. I'm talking about Kratom. And again, this is not a video advocating Kratom. I'm perfect purposely not doing videos on Kratom right now because YouTube hates it so much. Pretty solid product. I really, really enjoyed it. But for me on the limited use that I had, I found that it was very similar to chamomile, 
lemon balm, passion flower, and you can maybe toss in a little bit of L-tryptophan in there. I find that is very natural and good as well. Let me know what you think of kava. Is it your go-to? Have you tried kava and kratom? Have you only tried kava? I'd be very interested to see. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.